to make a quick video for people out there who are like me. I have a, uh, I believe this is a 1967 uh, Ford 2000, which you can pretty much see behind me right here. Uh, this was my great grandfather's tractor that he bought a long, long, long time ago. Uh, I believe they made it between 1953 to about 75, I believe. Uh, current problem that we were having with ours is that the battery was always dead and uh, replaced them, I think for the past two years, we've just been replacing batteries, charging them and trying to figure out what in the heck is going on with this. It's getting kind of expensive. Uh, the original battery that came in it was huge we just couldn't find one that matched that and unfortunately we were going to AutoZone and other places like that to find a battery to replace. So the last one we did I said you know let me do some research and hit up on YouTube and kind of came up with some stuff but was kind of unclear and had to do my own research so I thought maybe I'll just put a video out to help out anybody else who's out there uh, dealing with that problem and may need some help. So we'll open up the, as I call the hood here, and here's a battery that we found uh, at AutoZone. It was pretty big. Uh, you can pretty much go to a tractor store, stuff like that, to buy a battery that's the right size. These things are huge, but you don't really have to have a huge battery like that anymore because they're a little bit more compact and they work just as well. So this is what we thought the problem was, is the battery, keep buying new ones, they would die get another one recharge it and it'll just be completely dead uh, after doing some research uh, for myself a lot of people said that you need to change which is called the voltage regulator box which is actually located uh, right there this is a voltage regulator box and it attaches uh, down here to the uh, generator these have the generator on them so after pretty much uh, doing that research online, a lot of people were saying, look at the voltage regulator that I showed. And I said, okay, the voltage regulator, what, what is that? What exactly does that do? So took it apart and I'll quickly show you what mines look like. Um, but just inspecting it right here, this is what the one that was on there looks like. You can just tell this one right here is uh, at the end it's broke off and it's really kind of rusty and then looking at the back here you can tell not really in good shape either so I uh, decided to take it apart just to inspect it and see what's going on thinking looking at it like hey it actually looks pretty good and I don't see anything wrong with mine but then thinking about how electrical things work um, you can see here Really focusing that well but here you have those are okay you can pretty much see that they're touching they're connecting correctly when the voltage goes through them they tap let the electric through but then if you flip it over to this one that's pretty much on and I don't think that allows the electric to flow right when it needs and I think that arc is uh, allowed to be open or not touch I think like the other ones do I don't know exactly how this one works but you can tell pretty obvious that that's a problem right there Uh, you can see the new wiring harness here. Uh, sometimes you have to add or uh, take away some stuff. Like this is, goes to the thermostat. Uh, this diesel one, I don't think it has that wire. This wire uh, is made for the headlights. Somebody put new headlights on there back in the day. I don't know. But it's pretty easy to follow. Uh, nothing, I would say, seriously complicated with that wiring harness. Uh, they're pretty cheap too. They actually uh, work really well. And there's your new uh, voltage regulator. I'm not sure how easy it is to see down there, but you have the new wires, the new regulator set up. Sticking with me thus far, 
So I wanted to say before I end the clip is definitely look on eBay, Amazon for the voltage regulator and the wiring harness. They weren't very expensive. I spent maybe $100 on everything. Didn't take me more than maybe five hours to get everything installed and set up. So if you're ever suffering from dead batteries, definitely do a reading first. Make sure it has at least 12 volts coming through. Check your generator or alternator. Then definitely check out your uh, voltage regulator and wiring harness. So here's a clip of after the tractor set for maybe about two weeks where I figured out what's going on. And hopefully this video was informative. If you like, hit the thumbs up button and look out for more content in the future.